Right you guys, got another video here for you in this one. We're taking a look at how to install software using PowerShell. This is going to be another basic uh, beginner's guide to using PowerShell. And what we'll be doing is installing programs. So let's go down to the start button, right click and open up PowerShell. Once you've got PowerShell open, we're going to type in some commands here. So what we're going to do is navigate to the downloads uh, folder. So to do that, we need to do CD space downloads, and this will take us to our downloads directory. And once we're inside there, we can type DIR, and this will give us all the information that's inside that folder or that directory, which will be your downloads folder. And you can see we have a file inside here. So what we can do is now go to install that file and you can type out this command to install it from PowerShell. Now this would be useful if you're doing it from a remote location. So what we're going to do is start dash process and then space and then the name of the actual program. So you can copy this if you want to and then paste it in. You can use control C to copy and control V to paste it. Save you typing it out then push enter and what will happen is you will get a prompt box popping up. It's gone red here and that's because I've cancelled the installation because I wanted to show you how to use the uh, silent command which is a silent switch which you can use on the end. So when you see that red text there that means that I've pushed no to install on the user account control when it pops up. So you do the same command and then space forward slash s and this will do a silent install. Now it needs to be a certain type of file to do that and that will be an MSI package file that it needs to be to run silently and it will do a silent install on there. Now you can stop the user account control as well by using another command which will just means it will go ahead and install but I wouldn't advise you to do that. So let's go ahead and try to now find a package uh, provided by Chocolatey. So I've typed clear to clear the screen so we've got a nice clear screen and what we're going to do here is type in find dash package and then space then dash provider type that in and then space chocolatey and chocolatey is a place where you can get a lot of packages a lot of software from there so I'm going to type that in and what this will do is it'll go ahead and get us a list of all the packages that they've got to offer on their site. Now it may take a, take a bit of time to populate because I haven't got Chocolatey installed on this uh, computer. So what it will do is it will go out and say that you don't have the install. Do you want to install it? Also it's asking you some security questions here. Basically do you trust the source uh, from this location? You can say yes here if you trust it and install it or you can say no and it will completely uh, ignore the install and it won't install it okay so I do trust it and I want to install it so I'm going to say yes and it will go ahead, ahead and download and install that package now you'll see there is a bunch of different packages available from chocolatey and this will put a list on my screen and I'll be able to then take a look at what I want to install and then install those individually and and that will be how you can uh, install from that location so let me go ahead and show you here now remember guys before you start installing stuff from a location make sure do you trust that source where you're downloading those files from okay because you don't want to be ended up getting hit by malware or ransomware so be very very careful and only download from trusted sources chocolatey is a well-known trusted source so that's what i'll be uh, showing you in this video so now we've got our list what can we do we need to pick something from that list and as you can see there is a, a load of information on there so what we can do now is clear the screen and because I've already now got the list if I clear the screen here and I type the same command out which I typed uh, previously which is find dash package space dash provider space chocolatey the list will automatically be populated it won't ask to be installed because I've already done that so you can see that list is now being populated on the screen for me so I don't have to keep going back to it. That folder is going to be put into your C root directory which I'll show you in a bit. We'll take a look at that and there'll be a folder in there called chocolatey with all your packages in there. So what I'm going to do next is clear the screen and we're going to find the package that we want to install. Now I'm going to be installing notepad so what I need to do is type find dash package 
space dash provider and then space chocolatey and you can type that in and then what we need to do here is give it the name which is space dash name and now we can type in there uh, the space notepad with an asterisk and that will find all of the notepad uh, packages that they have available on their server so let's go ahead and do that so I'm going to quickly do that there and uh, it will populate this for us and find all the packages that have got notepad in them so let's go ahead and you can see here we do have them listed here now there's quite a few there now the ones we're interested in are notepad plus plus and you can see there is a notepad plus plus dot install either one of those you could download and uh, start to install so let me just quickly show you uh, the commands that you'll need to do to install these from uh, that uh, source there now that source needs to be safe so be careful when you are doing this from unknown sources on the internet okay because you are allowing those to come into computer just like you would do on a browser when you're downloading files through a browser this is the same sort of thing really but it's using uh, PowerShell so let's go ahead and type install dash package and then what we want to do is go space dash provider then space chocolatey and then what we want to do here is go space uh, name and then we need to name the package okay so the name of the package is going to be notepad plus plus all one word and you can copy either of these by using the control uh, copy and control v and paste that in and push enter and when i push enter it will give you the option to download that package you can say yes or why for yes uh, n for no or suspend or you can basically type in uh, the question mark for help it's entirely up to you but I'm just going to say no here because I want to show you uh, the install for the notepad plus plus as well so let me just quickly go and show you that I'm going to decline this and you should see it saying no I've declined the package and now we can do another one so let me just push the arrow keys on the up and this will bring up the command that you just previously done which is a time saver and now I've just taken off the dot install and I will install this one so there you go it's starting to install now there we go and that should now be installed so what we've done here is now downloaded this so let's go ahead and go to our C root directory and we can take a look at the chocolate folder and have a look at all the things that we've been doing inside there and you should see these files downloaded in there and uh, we'll take a look at those uh, right now let's just take a look at the files in the C root directory so I'm going to go to my C drive here and you can see there's a folder inside here called chocolatey and this is all of the uh, download that we've been doing from the internet if we go into our library you should see the files here and of course once you get inside here you will see the files that you want to install go into the installer here this is your uh, scripts here you can use these scripts to install as well if you want to install via the script you can do you can either right click and run powershell or you can use the commands inside the uh, command uh, prompt window which is your powershell window you can run them from there as well and mostly that's what people would do on a remote computer so let's go ahead and uh, now you can also install it uh, this way let me just show you here so we're going to go into uh, the directory where we've got the install file you'll see there is an executable file inside here as well let me just quickly find that it's inside here I think there we go now you can see there is two scripts up there called chocolatey install and also chocolatey uninstall and that's basically how you can install chocolatey via the script or uninstall it via the script which is available in this download but we're concentrating on the executable file here which is for our notepad and uh, we're going to be installing the executable file you can either click on it from here if you wanted to or you can copy a whole link here to that executable file like so so let me just quickly show you this one so we're going to copy this and you will need to add the extension on the end here so let me just quickly uh, start that process so I'm going to do start dash process and then you can copy that whole link with the executable file on the end of it like you can see here 
and then once you push enter it will go ahead and start to install just like you see the other install go so it's going to install this and then you'd go through the motions now if you wanted to do a silent install it needs to be msi package file and you will normally see it have a msi extension on the uh, there which is a you can use in the silent install from that now of course this is just using the basic method for installing and uninstalling applications there's much more advanced ways of doing this sort of job as well we can probably cover those in other videos if you want to see those let me know in the comment section below i also wanted to show you uh, some other things here as well and also something else about scripts which i think would be uh, quite useful to you let's first just quickly get this installed there we go that's all now installed and of course we can use the application as you would normally use on windows by just clicking finish and open program there we go okay so i just want to show you a couple of more little basic things here to do so we're going to go into our c root directory and to our chocolatey folder here and library and we can go into here now you can see here inside once we get inside here you'll see our files and you'll see the uh, scripts here these are the powershell scripts which you can run to install chocolatey and uninstall chocolatey and also you can see there's other scripts which you can get on the internet so be very very careful when you're downloading scripts off the internet and running those because they can be uh, quite powerful and you might be doing more than what you uh, want to do with that script so make sure you read the script if you don't understand what that script is saying then don't run it because you don't know what it's going to be doing to your system and it could be disabling a load of stuff that you didn't want disabled so let's go ahead and show you this other thing which you can do here inside a folder here say for instance tools if you wanted to navigate to this location inside powershell and you wanted to save a bit of time you can hold your shift key down and right click on here and use the open PowerShell here window click on this and it will take you straight to that location where you can then type your commands that you want to install stuff and from that location via PowerShell if you wanted to run a script from here you can do and it does save you a lot of time typing out paths and commands and stuff like that so it's just a quick little uh, tip there another thing I want to show you here is the scripts that I wanted to show you now you'll probably see uh, loads of scripts online uh, like this reclaim windows 10 dot uh, ps1 script and of course what this does is going to turn off a bunch of unnecessary windows 10 telemetry bloatware privacy things and other bits and pieces and uh, what you want to do here is you want to go through here and have a good look at what it's actually doing so you can see there's a bunch of stuff inside here that's going to make certain tweaks to the ui and a bunch of other tweaks on the system now you can run these and it will run all of these tasks very quickly and it's quite nice to use scripts because they're so powerful and they are good time savers but this may do more than what you want it to do and you can edit these files to suit your needs so just take out stuff that you don't want to enable or disable and uh, take those parts out okay before uh, you run these sort of uh, scripts because sometimes people run these and they say oh my pc is broken it's not broken it's just disabled a load of stuff that you didn't want it to say well, you can see this is going to be doing a hell of a lot of stuff to your system so just bear in mind when you're running uh, scripts which you download offline and also you want, need to understand what they are actually doing okay because this will actually disable windows updates automatic restart and it's going to do a bunch of other stuff here you can see it's listed all nice and clearly inside here so just make sure you know what you're doing before you run them anyway that's going to be about it for this video i'm going to wrap this one up my name is ben brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope this video has been some use to you i shall see you again for another video real soon thanks again for watching have a great day bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos